everyone. This is Dr. Ibrahim. Hope you are doing okay. Actually, this is a very, very important video, and um, you will need to uh, to uh, like listen carefully to every single second in this video. This is about prescription. Okay, prescription is important station in the exam, and unfortunately, it's one of the scary station in the exam. Okay, it have like a very bad reputation in lab two exam. Okay, but um, inshallah, after this video, everything should be fine. So prescription station, it is like um, a task to prescribe some medication to one of the patient could be uh, uh, inpatient in your ward or to prescribe some fluid or to, to do a prescription for a, a child. So it is different. But the most common one is um, the uh, prescription to uh, a patient admitted in the inpatient in the uh, internal ward. Okay, so you might need uh, to use a, a prescription chart like this. This is actually our hospital. Uh, uh, a chart is nearly the same um, uh, everywhere, and it is nearly the same like in the uh, that you will have in the exam. So first of all, there is a, a, a patient information here, like a hospital number, NHS number, and uh, the surname and the first name and the address. And after that, uh, the, the date of admission, the uh, name of the hospital, the ward. Uh, there is some simple difference between charts. After that, your uh, details. If, if the patient got allergy, the target oxygen saturation for the patient, if you need to prescribe a stat uh, dose for this patient, the, the weight and height and some uh, demographic about the patient himself, okay? Is this this actually easy, easy uh, page and should be uh, easy to fill in the exam. And like any other chart, there will be like three pages for uh, antimicrobial, antibiotic or antiviral. Uh, like this and after that the regular medication and it will start with the um, uh, prophylaxis against uh, uh, VT uh, like anticoagulant and platelet and uh, regular medication regular medication and after that the BRN medication as uh, um, required the medication and at the end there will be uh, a medication uh, the fluid prescription here and we have a place here for um, if, if the patient didn't take the medication for any reason, so the nurses should write down here, okay? It is nearly the same like any other uh, uh, chart and nearly the same you will have in the exam, okay? Some important point and some, uh, point and some important uh, mistake to avoid in this uh, station. This station is not only about writing down the prescription, okay? Because I have seen a lot of people, I have met a lot of people after their exam, and they, they were very confident about what uh, they have done, but I've told them that they, they might not manage to, to, to buzz the station. And they didn't buzz the station. Why? Because there's some fatal and avoidable mistake at the same time. As I said, it is not only about prescription. Okay? So, you have to follow the task. So, if, if, if it was mentioned to explain to the patient about the medication and prescribe it. Explain to the patient about the side effect. Uh, address the patient concern. Okay? like to do some changes in the uh, medication if needed okay and to prescribe so prescription is one task of m maybe like three tasks in the exam so even if you did the prescription in in a very right comprehensive way you might not be able to pass the station or you might even get like three out of 12 in this station okay so you need to figure out the task in the exam okay this is your uh, job okay uh, the second um, important point i would advise you all of you to memorize all the medications that you might have in the exam, okay? If there is antibiotic, try to memorize the dose for this antibiotic. Actually, it is it is limited number of station. So if, 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 if it is like 100 station, I would say that uh, don't memorize it, but it is like five, I think no more than seven uh, station that is usually common and common in the exam. So try to memorize all the medication from this station because it will save you some time in the exam. Or... Try to know how to use the BNF. We don't use the BNF, actually, to be honest. We use the, the, the BNF in our mobile, but I'm not, sure, I'm, I'm not sure if you are allowed to use the BNF in uh, your mobile in the exam. But in, in the hospital, we don't use the paper uh, 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 form of the BNF. But in all the cubicle in the exam, you will have a copy of the BNF. So you will be allowed to use it. Okay. So uh, try to get familiar with the BNF. Don't make it your first time in the exam. Okay. This station in the exam, I would say it is a gift. It's a gift from the gym, you see, to get a full mark on it, but people didn't use, didn't use it like this gift as it should be. Okay, so it is not about only prescription. It is like a medicine station, and a part of it is to prescribe the medication. 
okay so uh, uh, like introduce yourself to the patient confirm the identity to confirm if the, if the patient got any uh, allergy or get, got any uh, sensitivity before um, uh, get the full details of the uh, the patient explain to him about the medication and after that start to write down the medication okay the third point a lot of people ask me this question it's very weird actually when it comes to write down should i write down in like a silent way or to to memorize to sorry to uh, uh, to speak loudly about the medication what should i do I would advise you if there is a role player in the station is to explain what you are writing down in the uh, uh, drug chart or to write down in the drug chart at the same time explain to the patient like for example uh, yeah this is omeprazole uh, you have to take it once a day and it will be 20 milligram in the morning okay this is antibiotic and you have to take it for five days and it is 500 the dose of the antibiotic and you have to take it twice a day one at in the morning and one it's the uh, evening and if there's uh, like a specific timing for it just write it down and you have to take this antibiotic like for a whole of five days okay yeah is it clear yeah are you following me yeah am i clear so far yeah do you want me to repeat again yeah or no okay so it is like make it like two-way conversation interactive station don't enter the cubicle don't like spill and write down the medication and leave the cubicle this is not the way we used to do it okay if if, if like my consultant asked me to explain something to the patient i would have, i would uh, explain to him especially there's some medication that have uh, some serious uh, effects okay like some like the anti the the anti uh, platelet or the anticoagulant it, it might have a risk of uh, uh, bleeding so i might explain it to the patient Okay, and uh, I would explain all the side effects uh, uh, or the common side effects I know about the medication for the patient. Okay, try not to to write down uh, wrong information about the medication, like the dose. This is a fatal mistake. If it is uh, oral or IV, this is a fatal mistake. If you didn't uh, uh, write it down in the right way, for how many days? Like for example, if I open um, like this is. The, the antibiotic uh, uh, place so if it is prescribed um, so you have to write down the name of the antibiotic and is the, the the way like is it oral or IV and the dose is it uh, 500 BD or TDS and how many days here so you have to count down one two three four five and after that to cross this area and to, to write down for example we write down like stop at that uh, area okay like uh, and uh, uh, up here should be the uh, the date like uh, today's uh, for example 5th of April so it is starting uh, uh, in 5th of uh, April and it will stop at like 10th or 11th of April okay so you have, you have to mention it okay uh, and uh, uh, there is a place actually for uh, a signature here so uh, if, if you didn't stop the medication at the exact time this is a fatal mistake so you will be demarked uh, 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 for that okay so it is like uh, the same for any um, um, uh, other medication and after writing down the all the medication try to go through it quickly and make it clear yeah can I just check down if, if like be interactive in the exam okay because this is the way you will uh, 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 like deal in the hospital yeah can I go through all the medication again okay so I have write down the antibiotic yeah this is right okay this is right this is right this is right okay yeah okay so I forgot to write down here the uh, it is bare oral so I would write down BO here okay this is uh, right yeah it should stop here so in this way it is it is okay be natural in the exam and after that as I said again address the patient to concern he might be concerned about some side effect of the antibiotic or some side of effect of the medication or he might be um, concerned about um, changing some medication because he, he doesn't have allergy but it, it didn't make him feel well so you have to find the alternative if you didn't manage to find the alternative in the exam and this could happen just make it easy yeah i will i will uh, i will liaise with the team to um, to see um what we can do regarding that, we I think we will be able to change it, and I will let you know. Okay, take it easy. Okay, this is very quick uh, uh, tips about the uh, prescription, and I have a very comprehensive course actually on my website about uh, the prescription, so you can uh, uh, sign for it any time and wait for me for another video. Wish you the best.